You bought a 100 Hz or 144 Hz monitor for smooth gameplay. But when you launch FC25, it feels stuck, sluggish, like you're trapped at 60 frames per second. Let me guess, your menus lag, gameplay stutters, and your monitor's full potential is completely wasted. That's because FC25 defaults to a 60 Hz lock, even if your system can do more. But today, I'm going to break that lock, step by step. By the end of this video, your FC25 will be running at your monitor's true refresh rate, and every match will feel like a next-gen experience. Let's get you unlocked. 1. Why FC25 is locked at 60 Hz First, let's be clear, this isn't your fault. FC25 defaults to borderless windowed mode, which limits frame delivery to 60 Hz on most systems, even if your GPU can push triple that. It's not a performance issue. It's a display handshake problem. The game never asks Windows or your GPU what refresh rate to use. So we have to force it manually. And it only takes a few minutes. Let's start with your in-game settings. 2. In-game fix. Launch FC25 and go into settings, display configuration. Here's the secret. Change display mode to full screen. Why? Because only full screen mode allows FC25 to talk directly to your monitor driver. Borderless and windowed modes will lock you at 60 Hz, even on a 240 Hz display. Apply the setting and restart the game. If it feels smoother, good. But we're not done yet. Some of you are still locked. So here's the next step. 3. Config File Override Close the game completely. Now go to your System's Documents folder and follow this path. See colon backslash users backslash username backslash app data backslash local backslash EA Sports FC25. You'll see a folder called fexitup.ini or fxsettings.ini. Open the folder. Now right click and open it in Notepad. Look for the line that says, refresh underscore rate equals 60. This is the line that ruins your performance. Change it to, refresh underscore rate equals 100, or 144, 165, whatever your monitor supports. Save the file. Now launch the game, and you should immediately feel the difference. But there's one more thing that could silently override all of this. 4. GPU Control Panel Settings Whether you're on NVIDIA or AMD, your GPU might still be limiting your refresh rate. Here's how to fix that. For NVIDIA users, open NVIDIA Control Panel. Under Display, Change Resolution, set your monitor to its native refresh rate, 100 Hz, 144 Hz, or higher. Then go to Manage 3D Settings, Program Settings. Add FC25 if it's not there. Set preferred refresh rate to highest available. Apply. For AMD users, open Adrenaline Software. Under Display, make sure your resolution profile is running at your monitor's max hertz. In Graphics, Game Settings, force VSync to Adaptive or Off. These control panels often override game files, so this step locks everything in. 5. Windows Refresh Rate Trick Let's now confirm everything is synced correctly. Right-click your desktop. Choose Display Settings, Advanced Display Settings. Scroll down and check your active refresh rate. If it says 60 Hz, your monitor is still bottlenecked. Change the refresh rate to the highest option available. Hit Apply. Restart the game. You should now be seeing buttery smooth animations, responsive menus, and zero input lag. Bonus Performance Polish Want perfect smoothness with no screen tearing? Here's the final touch. Download RTSS, RevaTuner Statistics Server. Set a frame rate cap to just below your monitor's refresh rate. So for 100 Hz, set it to 98 FPS. This eliminates micro stutter, tearing, and sync issues, giving you that premium gameplay feel, even without vSync. Pair this with the other fixes and FC25 will finally feel like it was meant for high refresh gaming. And that's it. You've just fixed one of the most frustrating issues in EA Sports FC25, the 60 Hz lock. Your monitor is finally working with the game, not against it. If this helped, consider subscribing. I make PC fix guides that are clean, straight to the point, and actually solve real problems. Leave a comment with your FPS before and after. I read all of them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.